Hello again then, fellow zombies. So last time I died right here. Uh, the fat guy was just in there. And I made it exactly back to exactly where I was. I'm now moving forward. If there was a little enemy here, um, I just took him out with the parry. Um, I also finally opened my Red Bull because I actually specifically brought a Red Bull up because I thought I was going to need it for the Tower Knight when it started frustrating me. But I did manage to get it first go, so... Ah, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, that little weird move you made there. Okay. Uh, these these little corridors are just as weirdly claustrophobic and tight as they were in the original game. I remember it very well. The camera used to get really weird here. Can we break these? No, we can't. Right. I'm like suspecting an ambush here. Nope. Crescent moon grass. Nice. I'm just suspecting an ambush because, you know, you know what Dark Souls is like. Oh, you know, going through here just makes me think, imagine how good a Dark Souls remake would be. Like, if it was made by these guys. Looking like this. What's happening there? If I remember rightly, this bridge is going to collapse now. There's a pit ahead. Yeah, yeah. That bridge collapses. I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to go around. I remember it well. Okay, I don't think we can get anywhere from here, can we? Not like a ledge or anything? No. How do we get over there then? Ah, I remember what it is. Okay, I remember what it is. We have to fall down the pit. Because that's how we get to a little second area. Okay. Yeah. I remember it now. A compulsory fall. I just tend to leave those guys. They don't give many souls. There isn't really much of a reason to ever really fight them, to be honest. We couldn't just keep moving forward. That will now open the portcullis of above, so when we go back up there, we can then go through there. through here again. I'm going to go there. What am I doing? These little areas do remind me a lot of Dark Souls. Like the original Dark Souls, these little areas. I, th I honestly think... I haven't been in the game yet, so I can't say for sure, but for me, honestly, the low point of Demon Souls is 
the second part of the first the first level like that that bit uh, with the tower knights and the dragon bridge I genuinely and the walls in that I genuinely think it's terrible but the first level is really good and then this level is really good the tower of latria is then really good it's just the first bit now this is one of those uh, trick fog gates Mbasa Oh, 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 boss. This is a trick fight gate where it makes you think, oh, is there a boss fight? Because you're thinking you've been going for a little bit here, you know? Is there a boss fight? No, there's no boss fight. Okay. Whoa, oh, these guys, man. I remember these guys well. They're like salamanders, I think. I think they're fire salamanders, aren't they? This area is actually quite fresh in my memory, I feel like. It's also one of the better bits of the game, actually. I remember this, there's loads of fire salamanders here that start to drop down if you grab these items. Crap, you can't actually get out. I thought I'd be able to run all through there. I thought I'd, I honestly thought I'd be able to roll around them to get out. Right, the dogs. These dogs are not as bad as the early ones. I don't know if they have different AI or something, but man, the dogs are absolutely terrible. That was really weird. The other dogs didn't spawn in there for a second. That was strange. with me is I don't know what the item is but I know I want it to be fair I want my souls as well So I thought he would sort of be stunned for a second so I could get my attack in. Alright then, we've made it again. Back to the fire salamander pit here. I am not going to be going in there this time. I died twice to those guys, I don't feel like dying again. Here we are going to be coming to one of the shortcuts if I can get past these guys with the fire swords. I'm just going to try and go with the old parry tactic I think. Good attempt. Oh man, I forget how much damage these guys can actually take. I'm 
actually running out of healing items here. Need to be careful. Once I've made it to the shortcut, I should be okay. And the shortcut is coming up here in a second. So... I couldn't get a backstab on those because there were two of them there, so if I tried to go for a backstab on the one, the other one would get it. Alright, again, just run past these guys. There's no need to damage them at all. That will just make them start attacking you, and we don't need that. I've got an item here. Now here we are. Activate this lift, which takes us right back to the start of the level. Some of the, the fantastic From Software world design in play. But we're not going to be going there yet. We're going to be going down. Because down here is the blacksmith that I spoke about earlier. He is the guy from the next his brother. Uh, I haven't seen you around these parts. Ah, what does it matter? You need a blacksmith. Show me your steel. If not, head straight for the door. I'm busy. I'm not here to chit chat. Forging a weapon strengthens it and alters its character. Ores are transmogrified spirits. Their presence blesses the weapon. Ores are transmogrified. Okay. He can upgrade weapons on like a different upgrade path. I, I will say I don't know much about the different ores and the different ways you can upgrade weapons in Demon Souls. I'll probably be learning about it over the course of these videos. Um, but I know that he can take weapons down different upgrade paths than the other one at the Nexus, and he's his brother. So, we don't actually need anything with him, but I mainly wanted to speak to him to advance the quest. Because I think now if we go and speak to his other brother back at the Nexus, he will say something to us. And here we are, back at the start of the level. Perfect. Oh, hello. Here to make a deal. The filthy man. I don't have any art stone shards. It's a shame. We'll be getting some you soon. Want to don't you agree? Right. So I'm not going to end the video yet. Still a bit more we can do, I think, in this time. Wait, I want to go up. What am I doing? Why did I go back down? I actually want to go up. stone shard. Not very interesting, really. Cool. Okay. I wish I had got... I do have a couple of these crescent and grass. Hopefully I can get some more in the areas. Oh, because I didn't rest, obviously. Um, the enemies are still dead, so... Holy... That, that made me jump, that did.
again. Like I say, again, you can leave a few of these. We yeah. don't need to damage a few of these. Large hardstone shard, that's gonna come in handy when I'm grading this bastard sword. Okay. Whoa, that's a nice view. Look at that. It looks quite nice now actually. It used to look really ugly in the original game. Oh come on, man. The cheating, the cheating. Anyway, uh, just to explain, what we need to do in this level is there's a big massive lava pit down here and the boss is actually on the other side, just up there. That's where the boss fight is, up there, on that little bridge up there. So what we need to do is get some water, pour it onto this lava, like a big massive load of water, not just a little bucket of water. It will get rid of the lava and then we can progress to the boss fight. So we need to try and find the water, essentially. Right, I don't think I can get across there now, can I? No, I'm gonna have to find another way to get there. Okay. Oh man. So that's the water there that we're going to need to actually do something with, basically. Yeah, we've got to get to where that little worker is there. You can see there? We've got to get there. Okay. I'm trying to get past these guys first, though. Man. Yeah, keep going over there. Cheating. So as you can see, this shield is not blocking all the damage from their attacks because it is 100% resistance to physical damage, but not 100% to fire damage. Don't think I have any other shields, sadly. Any that are 100% to fire. there because I was doing the backstab I was invincible for a second so even if they'd chucked those boulders on me I wouldn't have actually taken any damage because I was invincible due to doing the backstab come on enemy will you move it jeez then all day
There we go. Made it through there. Oh. Controls in this game too. What? Okay. Uh, I didn't realize I was a fault. Send it to storage. It was a steel shield. Okay. Yeah, I know that that's a mechanic they've added to the remake, is being able to send items to storage, because normally you just have to leave the item there. You wouldn't be able to carry anything else in the original game. But now you can send it to storage, which is a, a good improved mechanic. Definitely. Right, we've got some fire salamanders now again. These bastards. These guys are annoying, man. Dragonstone shot. Cool. What was that? That was absolute bullshit. That was ridiculous, that was. I am sorry. That was absolutely ridiculous. Okay. We're good at that amount of health. Now, there's some dogs down here. I remember that very well. I hate the dogs. They're already trying to attack me. Dog that seems to be stuck underneath here. There we go. Okay. Right, where is it exactly the the wheel is to turn the water off or to pour the water down. I know it's around here somewhere. It seems to be the only way we can go is here, so I'm assuming it's down here then. Close so I can power you, come on. Okay. Oh, my God. 
Okay. Well, that was kind of satisfying. Okay then, so I think after that I will call this episode here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Maybe if you share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it, if you feel it was good enough. Thank you again for watching, this is Zombie Reborn, signing out. Have a good one.